Welcome back guys to Mass Effect 2! With the completion of Kasumi's DLC last episode, I thought it would be a good time to just have a little chat her, get to know her a little bit. As we start off this episode, now of course Mass Effect 2 I have to do things in different fashion than Mass Effect 1. Port Observation Port is a new room by the way, we're entering new climates yet again. In fact there's drinks all around, red and blue, I don't know what the difference is. Because who is behind me? We have to kind of do things in a different way. Because of loyalty and all that, we generally have to engage in conversations with the crew whenever possible. We have to do the missions early. We have to do, like, all the side quests as early as possible. So I'll be trying to intersperse story or DLC alongside the usual side quest missions that we're going to be have to be doing. However, however, with the amount that's going on, I will of course always try to bring story in every so often, so a few episodes of side quest and get back to the story. That's basically what we need to do. So I'm going to be trying to go back and forth in the best possible fashion for the most entertaining stuff. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. It wasn't until I met KG that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. And that was in our possession. Stolen goods. That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Quite a nice picture, if you're into the abstract. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Let's talk to Kasumi herself. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Oh, she doesn't actually seem to want to talk. I really appreciate your help with the Hawk Heist. I know why we had to destroy Keiji's Grey Box, but it doesn't make it any easier. She's the kind of mix between good and bad in the way that she is a thief. She steals stuff, but she's also protecting people. Save it, save that little girl just out of her own whim, not for the painting, but still. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out. I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. Well, nice story. Kinda. <laughs> but let's uh, see Chakwas. Chakwas is another person we have to see at the start of this episode. Because of course we got her bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy. We have done your mission, madame. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Here's to the men and women of the Alliance. May fortune find them all. Oh! It appears we got some more research data for that, but I've ended up being very drunk as well. In fact, 
Chat quests, I seem to have beat her and drunk her under the table. It's kind of interesting that we're in this <laughs> dress as well for this mission. Or at least, ah, uh, it's all blurry. Um, we're gonna fall out. Whoa. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Another Ferris one? Fields. We're veering. Are we, we're back to walking normal? Oh, we are indeed, right. Maybe a little chat with Garrus to get a little bit more information about what was going on, and then we'll head out on the galaxy. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Seems that we'll probably need to do some more story missions in order to get him chatting and going forward. So that leaves us a good time to get back out there. Now I want to do some side quests, of course. I want to do some side quests. The earlier we start, the better. Getting the experience ready. Let's head up. Oh, we may as well get our Medi Gel capacity up. Well, we got, well, a capacity of four at the moment, I think. So five with the next upgrade. Ah, we can pick up that upgrade next time. We've, of course, got another loyalty mission to do with Zaid. We haven't really talked to him properly. We kind of let him on the ship, but kind of, he's not a very savory character. Let's put it that way. Now, the real question comes in finding these places, finding where we're supposed to go. N7 Lost Operative was the one we just picked up. A Lost Service Operative in the Favar System. Omega Nebula. And the Faryar System of the Hourglass Nebula. For another one. So, let's just look for the Nebula. Omega Nebula. Is that where we are currently? Alright, let's have a look around. We're in Bolt... Well, we're next to Boltzmann, of course. We'll come back and scan these in the future. Actually, let's have a look over here. Just in case we have any other directional pointers on the outside of the galaxy that can tell us if there's any nearby quests. No, not none so whatsoever. Ah, oh, pressing X doesn't exit the system. We have to go to the edge of the system to exit. Right. So we may as well head back. It's a serpent nebula at the moment. Let's find us some side quests. Now, the side quests in Mass Effect 2 are a lot better than what we had to do in Mass Effect 1. Everything works just better in this game. I'm actually very much excited. I'm having a lot of fun playing this one. Not that I wasn't having fun in Mass Effect 1, but... There's just something about this one that's really nice. In fact, Recruit the Convict is where Secure Smuggle Cargo is. We also have Investigate Project Overlord, more DLC, Explore Normandy Crash Site, which we will do soon. Where is that other place? The Citadel, the Hourglass Nebula... I don't think we can go there yet, wherever it says it wants us to go. I can't see an extra side quest thing for it. The Agus Nebula, the Serpent Head Nebula, the Ismar Frontier, the Omega Nebula, it was an Omega. So whereabouts? Karavamori, Arkanen. Batala is probably a planet that hasn't been explored. Ah, the Favar system, wasn't it? Favar, we head there at once. With enough fuel, okay. We should be able to make it over. Hopefully there's a fooling station in more systems than just the ones we've seen so far. Right, so there should be a mission somewhere in here. Just gotta find ourselves the right planet. Korar is not the right planet. Anomaly directed on Lorek. So what are we looking for? So we got to find ourselves where the communication is? And, ah, the white indicator on the reticule to find the anomaly. That's not hard. We may as well pick ourselves up some minerals on the way that way. We find big peaks like this, really should get them. Okay, anomaly detected signal scans detect a transmitter match 
Cerberus Encryption it is re registered to an unknown deep cover operative. Cerberus Operative Life Signs Unconfirmed. Other transmissions that match known Eclipse coded communications also detected. Because time to head down for our first side quest, our first away mission. This is not story related. Let's see what they entail in Mass Effect 2. No more Mako to drive us around. I think we just get dropped right at the site and start fighting, as it were. We've got ourselves a new person, of course, but we'll leave her off. We've got ourselves an appearance change as well because of the fact that we, well, got our loyalty mission done. We'll take Morden and Garrus, of course. Took a while to get into a mission this time round, but here we go. We got some more squad points. We could get more tactical cloak. We could get incinerate to get AI hacking, maybe, which probably not a bad idea. Let's do that. Make sure we have more abilities. Morden can get a couple more himself. I think I'll wait for a Salarian scientist as the next rank. And same for our little Garrus boy here. go check the place out. In fact, let's use our locust of course because that was really nice. In fact, we've already got it on. Our weapon is already equipped with what we need. Uh, hiding over here, behind the boxes I imagine. Platinum, lovely. Pick up minerals and everything where we can. Try and find this operative. Wherever he may be in whatever condition. Recover stolen data. Excuse me sirs. Firing eye impact shot. Uh, you just locked me out. I wish to help you. Ah! What an annoying little barricade, eh? No wonder I wasn't making any damage on him. No snipers here. Some machine gun take them out as fast as possible. Doing damage to us nastily, right. Which all the Slarians? Quick Reeve would have been good a bit ago when we had a little bit of HP taken down. Keep ducking there, Garrus. There should be one guy left over here, or is he dead as well? I think we've already cleared him out. That sorry was pretty nasty. Okay, logs here. Subject ID. Corporal Giro. Tyrone Rawlings is a subject. Eclipse targeted Agent Rawlins some time ago. We know Rawlins is connected to the encrypted data we, we acquired. The data could conclusively prove Cerberus' involvement in Rachni experiments. We know that they did. We believe Rawlings possesses a cipher that could be used to decrypt the data. Without his cipher, the data could take years for Eclipse to decode. They captured the agent, obviously proved difficult to capture. Having insinuated himself on a ship bound for the Atacan Traverse, he had won over the loyalty of the ship's crew who believed him to be a human dignitary on a mission of discovery. Our own agents managed to disable the ship and hobble its defences long enough to extract Agent Rawlins. We lost a lot of men to obtain this asset. This data had better be worth the expense. And then they interrogated him, which failed. Despite some of our most advanced interrogation techniques, Agent Rawlins managed to evade our questions. When we applied more invasive methods, he proved resistance to those as well. Eventually, Agent Rawlins' resistance caused tempers to flare. We consider it unfortunate that Agent Rawlins did not live to pass on the cipher. We have men working to decipher the encryption now. As long as we control its data, its mere existence remains a powerful tool against Cerberus. So we're kind of covering Cerberus' back here a little bit. Right, so what do we got? Easy ones. More easy ones. Well, these two down here. Oh, really easy tacking. No problem at all. Only a little bit of credits for it, though. So that door's open. This door's open. We'll check every route. Neutralize. I seem to have opened up something not so good. I'll tear you apart. Get ducked in. Uh, cover is always good. Moral is a special guy here. Obviously, it's ah ah burning, burning bad, hiding. 
Hiding good. Especially when you get a nice little angle like that going on. Should burn through any armor. Sure can. Keep burning him then. More life is not so good for you right now. Commanding more didn't do that really work. Let's pick up some money. Oh, we gotta actually hack this one. I don't want to fail any of these, really. Money is money, and I don't think we get any option to retry. There's no Omni Gel after all. Take what we can. More med kit stuff. No research, though. I'm kind of hoping for the good stuff, as it were. Closed, well, enclosed corridors like this call more for the use of submachine guns than ever before. Nothing down here except for a platinum that's hiding somewhere nearby. Definitely could see it. Ah! Haha! -ha. 800 more platinum without having to scan a planet is nice. Let's move onwards. Hopefully, no one's going to jump out of anywhere and kill us. That's always a bad thing when that happens. Okay, all different ones over here, except for those two. Alright, that one's that one, yes. And that leaves one left. Hello, bad guys. Or no bad guys. We've cleared them out. Moral was our last guy, and this is poor agent. That is a lot of blood. What the hell... <laughs> Invasive interrogation techniques are not good ideas, you kills! It's... Uh, it makes no sense. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Okay, do we really want to... Bite the hand that feeds? Can we upload to both? Aha, this is a problem. Upload data to the Alliance is, of course, the good thing. Holding it for later for ransom, but we got to do the good thing. Data uploaded to Alliance Command. I wonder, uh, it could data, I don't hope the elusive man doesn't know much about this. Oh, we're not going to get in trouble. We are Paragon Shepherd, despite the fact that we may obey some renegade prompts when it suits us. Fortunately, it sucks to be both working for Cerberus and against them because of our past dealings. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I thought as much. Right. Unread messages. Alliance Command, we got the data you sent. If this went public, it could do some serious damage to Cerberus' image. This intel will take years to decode, but just having it is a huge win for the Alliance. Well done, Shepard. Good luck on your mission. Anderson's in contact with us, despite the fact that we haven't actually gone in contact with him yet. Hopefully, no problems come from that for us. That's the armory, of course. Hopefully, we're a bit okay, and Cerberus don't find out about us... Well, kind of straight out betraying them. We're not clever in that respect, are we? Many jail capacity and tech duration as well. We will take that every chance we get. And um, 20% duration probably is a lot of extra damage, to be honest. Many jail capacity, I'll take that as well. Anything else we can pick up? Just the prototype still. No weapon upgrades. Research unlocked for a trauma module. Did we actually already have that or not? Did we unlock that by... Oh, we did. We got that from having something else. Okay, Unity heals your squad to full health as well. A standard first aid interface can stabilize a badly wounded soldier, preventing death from all but the most serious wounds. The base technology, however, is ineffective on conscious soldiers who are currently taking fire as each pain signal resets the process. A trauma module separates the Medigel administration into two layers, active and passive. The active layer constantly distributes small amounts of Medigel to fresh wound sites. The passive layer handles major deployments to incapacitating wounds. When large amounts of Medigel are deployed to incapacitate the squad members, fighting members are also healed. That's quite nice. 
upgrades all the time. Give us more, give us more. Now let's head out for yet another side quest mission. Or maybe a nice little DLC that's nearby. Because outside the system is explore the Normandy crash site. Now I'm not sure about the total amount of fuel that could be used to get over to that right hand side and back again. I think we can actually let ourselves drift without using fuel. Which is fairly interesting. I think actually we only... I'm not sure, I think we burn fuel no matter how far we travel, but this should allow us to get back again quite nicely. Let's explore the Normandy crash site. This is the place, of course, where the Collectors attacked us. Let's find out what's going down. Anomaly detected. Ooh, that's a lot of minerals over here. It's very rich in minerals, this place. Launching probe. I kind of have to launch a probe when it's that near like that. Probe launched. Jumping on our sensors. Anomaly detected. Scans confirm the wreckage of SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone located amidst the crash site. So we're visiting more or less a graveyard for some of the fallen. More or less a graveyard for ourselves, I'd imagine. If the Normandy crashed here, isn't this where we burned up and landed? Here's even the Mako's landed out here. Locate a suitable place for the Normandy plaque or something? Let's have a quick look at that journal entry here. We had an assignment. A monument. And recover any sign of the 20 lost crew members. There's 20 lost crew members around here? So what are we looking for? Like dog ta- ah ha Dog experience. We get some nice experience for this as well by the look of it. Dog tag to collect just round the corner here. There's 12 experience per, that's about 240 experience. We can actually earn ourselves a quite nice little tasty treat from just exploring this place. Well, this is the place where the original adventure all ended, in a sense. With our death. So we can place the monument wherever, I guess placing it against the Normandy's thing is a pretty good place to put it. Find the lost crew still. But a monument to the fallen has been erected, it's more or less a gravestone marker made out of gold by the look of it. Can't climb up there. Keep looking around, keep scouring the area, see if we can find anything else. Dog tags within the crates, more or less. Did someone like try and hide inside one? It even has the names of the people, Tanika Raymond. Helen M. Lowe, your dog tags inside the ship. What part of the ship was this? I assume then that this might have been Ashley Williams' station? Completely unrecognizable now, however.
make sure we find everything we can. Monument to the Fallen, more or less. How do we get down there? Nice and gently is the answer. Part of the ship's this. Ah, where we were with Caden when everything went down. Or not, this is a part of the main bridge. Leading up to Joker, I imagine. There must be something out on the precipice all the way over there, so we're going to head this way first. Another dog tag. The Emerson Hector. Mako's over there. Another dog tag. Garamine Barrett. Can we actually climb up at all, or do we have to get round, I imagine? See the well, you can see the dog tags quite well everywhere. They glint very easily. One over here. Silas Crosby. Gladstone, Harvey J. Nice to see, I see. A data pad over here. Interesting. Okay, entry one. Unrecoverable data. This data pad's probably messed up. Spoke to the commander about this. I corrupt. All these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ship, I just don't trust them. That damned Asari and a Quarian. What does Shepard think? This is a zoo? Something with the quarry, and it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage, trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I would babysit my children or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose it's not too bad. This is someone coming round. For a w something for a while now, and I'm taking a look back at past entries in this journal. I, well, I imagine it's, I can't believe how blind I was at the time. I came on the ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Commander Shepard brought all these aliens on board and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say I would die for any member of this crew regardless of what world they were born on. I'm just filling in. But that had to be navigated, Presley. He was not happy at the start of the game at all. But I guess he warmed up to the crewmates. Nothing back here. Can't get Navigator Presley's dog tag. I assume he didn't really have one. I assume he was mainly... Well, he's up as staff after all. So he wasn't treated as an ordinary soldier in some senses. An N7 helmet. Is that our original helmet? Because we're the only N7, I think. Shepard's lost N7 helmet was recovered. More dog tags over here, and another part of the ship. Is that a shuttle or engine? We need to head up round for that one. We'll find element zero, however. Nice little upgrade to find. Ah, oh, an escape pod, SOS. So someone must have landed here. I'm not sure if they survived or not, because this is obviously a planet without a breathable atmosphere. To start with, we'll look at the Mako soon. I'm going to keep scanning the outside edges of the place. For more dog tags, we've only got six more to get, I think. Carlson Tux. Five remain. Taking that down to four with Mandira Raman. We've already headed back there. Oh no, we haven't. No, this is the main bridge. Whose is this one then? Talifa Draven.
Of course, our memories of being here with Joker. Of course, we're reunited as well, so it's not too bad on that front. But wouldn't have this been more or less the scene of our death? Where our air tank broke? Not a good place to be, that's for sure. Not a place I'm comfortable with being either. We could just melee them, really, but... We only need two more tags to go? I imagine they're mostly in boxes. Something all the way over there. And that hurt our shield, very enough. Marcus Greco. I see you refined Element Zero. I think Element Zero is one of the harder collectible things because it doesn't come from a planet. It's not naturally occurring, but the Mako. Thank God you're gone. <laughs> Those missions were harsh. Refined Element Zero over there. No more dog tags around the Mako. So we're missing just one. Where is that last one? Can't climb up. Just have to walk up. In another part of the ship, just everywhere. The ship's strewn everywhere. One more part, and it has to be around this side somewhere, in my opinion. This might take a little bit of time. The one final needle in a haystack, so to say. 20 crewmen died on board that day. I thought most of them escaped quite fine, according to Cerberus, after all. Obviously, this is a bit of a lie. A white lie told to get Shepard up and moving, maybe? Or... I don't know. Finding this final dog tag, it's very elusive, just like the elusive man himself. Aha! The final one. Bringing this place to rest. We found all the dog tags, so we can literally now claim, well, I'm guessing the Alliance have already put them as dead. We can send their possessions home to their family. We placed a monument to the dead Normandy. And its fallen crew members. I think that's it for this. The Normandy crash site is completed. So I'm going to say goodbye for this episode. We completed a side quest. And we visited the old Normandy. Picked up Shepard's old helmet. And gave an item back to the families of the fallen. So thank you for watching. Tune in next time for more, and I'll see you guys around as we explore more of the Mass Effect universe. Every single bit, of course. Bye-bye.